G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. It's resin day, can you guess? <laughs> you probably can't see this, it's just out of frame. Um, now, today I am doing something um, similar to what I saw on a, another YouTube channel. It was from Nadia from Leah Dia Designs. Hi Nadia, if you're watching, I really, really love her channel. Pretty much everything that I've seen her do is just gorgeous and quite unique. Like there's so many YouTubers out there and a lot of them are doing the same sort of thing. So um, yeah, I just, I saw that and I thought, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to try it myself. So I hope she doesn't mind. Um, Leah Dia Designs on YouTube. Now I'm using this mold. This was actually the very first mold that I designed. It's a geode shaped mold. Um, I don't know if you can see on here, but the edges are not straight up and down. They're all rocky and crevicey and uneven. See them there? I'm not sure if you can actually pick that up or not, but that's, um, and that's my coaster holder that I've designed as well. <laughs> um, both of these are in my YouTube store. Not my YouTube store. My eBay store. Now these colours, this pretty pale sort of pink, pinkish, whitish gold um, and golden pink. Um, that's my sort of inspiration as well as, of course, Nadia's. Um, now I don't have the exact products that she used. So I'm going to wing it. So basically what I want to do is I want to fill these up with like a, a pale, pale creamy with a hint of pink in it. That's getting warm. That is my Platinum 360. Um, it sets up pretty quick. So, you know, you can actually unmold it in six hours. So for me to do my next coat, I should be able to do it in like, two or three hours so it's getting warm already I've got 250 grams one cup um, and I'm going to add a mixture of these two can you see those probably not it's, they're by pixie dust pigments this one is crystal white and then there's pink pearl so I'm going to add those two together um, and see if I can get just a just a pretty off white with a hint of pink in it and then um, <clears throat> I'm going to put, after that's dried, I'm going to put my glitters on. I'll talk to you about those later. I want to get this going. Um, so, yeah, one cup. Let's do two of those. That's the white, crystal white. And I might just start with just a little bit on, I don't want to do too much in case it, it's too overpowering. See, it's kind of like a, a pinky gold colour. We'll just do that much and see how that looks. So basically, yeah, just like a off-white with a hint of pink. I was thinking about doing plain white. And then I thought, mm, I really like those coasters that I did that, that I showed you. They've got this, they've got this same mix in it, but a darker shade. Like I've put more of that pink one in. I know it's called, well, it's called pink pearl. So yeah, it's got this very pale pinky colour. Oh, so there we go. Let's mix that in. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is just what I wanted. Like, I didn't want plain white. I just wanted a little bit of a hint of a pinky gold because my glitter is going to be pink and gold. Mm, might add a little bit more. It's a little bit on the transparent side. So I'm going to do another one of those. It's a big cup of resin, you see. Big cup, another big scoop of the white and then a little bit of the, actually no, let's just see how what it looks like with just the white. I don't want to add too much of the pink. The pink is going to be more in my glitter. Oops, I've got to stir this gently so it doesn't all 
fly away. I have today ordered some more glitters from Lurissi. Um, where did these come from? I actually can't even remember where I got these from. <laughs> Silver, pink and, and gold. Um, I ordered some others from Lurissi that I used in my one of my previous videos. But yeah, I've ordered some pretty um, holographic glitters from Larissi, so I guess they'll be a couple of weeks before they get here. How's that? Can you see a little bit of a tinge of pink in it? Hope so. I'm not going to add any more pink. So let's begin, shall we? Make sure that we're taping. We are six minutes already. Jeez, I talk, don't I? I'm sorry. But I've been stirring. All right. Let's go with that. Now, I only want to put in... I only want to fill them, not even halfway, really. So we'll just get this to cover the base. Push out and cover up. And then, because I want to allow enough room for my glitter. But you know, it does take up a bit of room. Um, and then I want to put a clear coat on over the top because I don't want to feel the grittiness of the glitter. So you're full, you're full. You can have a little bit more. And I'll do my little hearts as well because I think they'll be cute. And the mould obviously comes with two little hearts and you can use them as keychains or large pendants, whatever you like. They're just in there. A little free gift. Oops, you can need a little bit more. So yeah, I made up 250 grams. It's probably a little bit more than what I needed, but it was just a nice round figure. So I did 175 grams of A of my resin and 75 grams of B because you know I keep telling you A weighs more than B doesn't it all right I think that's it we are done I don't want to put any more in now because it's mica it's going to do all these you know weird and wonderful things that micas do, mica powders, especially when you put in like a, a pearly one. I think they might both be a bit of pearly actually, this one is. They're both kind of pearly, metallic-y looking. So you get these really gorgeous um, effects happening. Quick torch, like so. Um, and I'll leave it and I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll just wait for the bubbles to come to the surface and then I'll torch again. Oh, that's so pretty. So can you see how it's just an off-white? Because you can see next to this, this is white obviously. Um, so you can see that, like it's an off-white and it's got this little hint of like a pinky gold in it. Can you see that from where you are? I hope so. All right. Now I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'll tell you real quick about my next layer. So I've got the gold, the pink, and the silver. Um, so what Nadia did from Leah Dia, she did um, the the most recent one. I think was a a clock, and she had like a I think it was a white background, and then from the outside in, she did the the glitter like that. Um, and then, but she showed us this little coaster that was next to the clock and it was like same color, I think from the background, but half of it was plain white. And then the bottom half was the glitter, like shards, bling, whatever you want to call it. So I was trying to decide which to do, because first of all, I was just going to do half. And then I thought, oh, but the gumming from the inside, the outside in would be really pretty. So I might do half. So I might do like the top half coming in from the outside and then they're going just half. So why not? So for the 
outer ring um, or probably come up to I guess from see how you can see the center there so that the gold glitter and I've mixed I've mixed gold and silver together here because the gold is like really bright it's quite in your face so I toned it down with silver um, two parts silver like two teaspoons of silver one teaspoon of gold I've got in there so that's going to be my outer rim and half and then when that dries I'm going to go through with this one which is um, two teaspoons of silver two teaspoons of pink and one teaspoon of gold so that looks really pretty too hey so and then that I'm just going to put around the very edges so we get that like pink then gold and then more of a white and then on the bottom here as well so that's what I'm going to do um, yeah so but check out Nadia's channel and you can see how she did hers um, I think I'm using different products I'm going to use this polycrylic water-based crystal clear clear gloss top coat thingy and I'm going to mix that into these and then I'm going to brush the glitter on because it takes it well it's you wash it up in water which is great um, cleans up easily with soap and water and can be recoated in only two hours so that's good I like it when things you don't have to wait too long so two hours between the coats so yay all right I'll leave it at that I'll go to wait for these guys to to set up um, and then um, yeah I'll be back with the next exciting chapter I'll show you what they look like the, the glossiness of them hopefully you can see the glossiness of them can you oh that ring light's annoying isn't it can you kind of pick up the, I don't know if you can pick up the pinky gold, but it's doing its thing. Hopefully they'll all go into the center like that so that I won't see a middle because I don't particularly want to see the middle. So hopefully they'll all close over. Um, and then there's my gold and silver mix. And then this one, oops is the pink and gold and silver mix. Yeah, so there you go. All right, see you soon. Okay guys, it's been four hours. Uh, they are dry to the touch, so, you know, not sticky, but if I had to push on them, I would dent them. So don't push on them. So here's my polycrylic that I'm going to use. The cat the on the label it says stir do not shake and it says that it's milky but it will dry clear so let's do that so it's really thin um, you know it's like water like milk so hopefully it'll work nicely I'm thinking if you if your mix is really thick you might have trouble like making your little points so that's my theory anyway because I haven't tried this before I don't really know oh there's a lumpy thing in there get out um yeah but any any varnish any like you know um what have we got all kinds of this Liquitex varnish what else what's down there I'm looking at my stuff I've got triple is it called triple clear or triple coat something like that it's pretty thick though now I don't want to use all my glitter I don't want to like pour all that into there just in case um, you know I don't need it all and then I've wasted all my glitter so I'm just gonna pour half that's about half I can always, you know, add more if I need to, but we'll put that aside for maybe another project. So, how am I going to pour this? It would be nice if it had a spout, actually. It's going to be really hard to do. Let me get a spoon. 
Um, where's my spoons? Because I don't need a lot. <laughs> I can just imagine me tipping that and they're all running down there. I'm just going to use one of these little spoons. I'll make a bit of a paste with it. I probably will need the rest of that, hey? Maybe I should just make it up. Because it doesn't look as if I'm going to get six coasters out of that, does it? But I'm not going to put it on very thick. Okay, so it looks probably a little bit thick. Let's put a little bit more in. Because I just need it to be flowing, I guess. Thin enough that it's going to flow. So just remember that it's going to dry clear. Okay, so now it's kind of dripping. Shall we go with that? Does that seem about right? I don't know. Let me put my little lid on. I won't hammer it on just yet. Because I'm probably going to need some more. Now when uh, Nat... Nadia, I was going to say Natalie, <laughs> when Nadia did this, the first time she did it, um, she waited for the gold to dry before she put the pink on. And then in the second video, she just, as far as I could see, she just did the pink on top of the gold and kind of blended them. So, Oh, now I've had another idea. I'm going to go those two with one um, design, those two with another design, and that one with another design. So I'll start with this one. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of make a little line across there. Not quite half because my points are going to come up a little bit. So maybe just under half. So I'll probably just do one and then one of each actually. And then I'll just fast forward the video. Otherwise I'm going to be here all night, aren't I? So basically got to fill that in. like so and then actually let me fill that in first so we've got two hours before this sets up so plenty of time it's not exactly a hot day today either so it should be should be good feels like sand <laughs> wet sand Okay, I'll do that first, and then I think I'll just do this sort of a thing. Bring that through. Maybe go a little bit slower so I'm dragging them through more. When I was going too fast, it wasn't really picking any color up oh look at me go I'm doing it I'm doing it so obviously I want some some higher and some lower and try not to get it onto my oh oops shouldn't have stuck my finger in that I said to you it's still soft don't stick my finger in it goodness me oh well okay so let's have a little look Put a little bit more in there. So some of them I want, you know, a little bit longer. So that they're not all the same. So yeah, I'm just going to, I'll just have a bit of a play. It's got to be careful you don't like take all your colour up, you know, because you're making your points. You don't want to drag everything up. You still want to see some of that, that white there. So... I just got to be careful that I don't take it all up. Hey. All right. Let's put a little bit in there where I've made that little dent. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to do with the first one. Um, I know it's not exactly straight, straight that way, not that way. It doesn't matter. It's because I've been standing on the side here. 
All right, so I'm going to do the same with that one. Now with this one, I thought I'd do the same as this little pattern here, but I'll show you. This is the idea I had. I'll just put that on a little bit thicker. Hopefully that's not too thick. Touch the edge there. Okay, now I'm going to go up and down. Oh, look, I've done it again. I've touched the side. I didn't want to do that. How can I get that off? Very gently. All right, I'll try and be more careful. All right, so um, yeah, I just basically want to. A toothpick would be better. Mm, not sure. Mm, not really. So I'm just going to do do this. Pull some up and some down, and then I'll go and do some more little pieces in between. And just kind of blend like so. And I'll get some smaller bits from the inside. And maybe a few longer ones as well. It's pretty easy working with this glitter actually, because it's very fine glitter. Just gotta be careful not to scratch the, the white part, you know, if you're not putting any glitter on it just be careful you're not going to scratch it let's drag some of those through there just so so I don't know whether that's like too thick in the middle but I think it's nice I kind of wanted a third a third and a third so I don't know just be creative just do whatever comes to you <laughs> whatever comes naturally now I'm going to do a couple of little longer ones just because I don't want them all exactly the same how's that looking kind of whispered out all right so that's, I think that's that one done. So different, but you know, the, the same, you know, still, still different, but the same colors and design and all that. So, all right, now the next one, this one is going to be the one where I go from the outside in. Are you still with me? You guys are so quiet. Let's see if I can just zoom you in just a touch more. A little change colour, no. All right, um, so the last one. I've still got quite a lot of glitter. Now this is going to be a bit tricky here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some around the edges. And just remember, don't not do, don't make it too thick, eh? Because you've still got to put your clear layer on top. <laughs> I sound as if I know what I'm doing, and <laughs> I don't. I've never done this before. I'm just making it up, just pretending to sound as if I know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of this gold in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it through with the stick, same as I did with the other two. And then I'm going to put the pink on. Because it's not going to need a lot of pink. And I think it's going to be quite nice having the two kind of blended together. Um, and then all I'll have to do is probably wait 
only two hours for this to set up, like to dry, if it does take two hours. It's a little bit cool though, like, you know, I'm in winter now, so it's a bit cool in the studio, so it might take a bit longer. But that'll mean that I can actually get my top coat of resin on tonight because it's, um, oh, it's 10 past six at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I should be able to get the resin on tonight, which means I can unmold tomorrow because I've got nothing to unmold for you tomorrow. No, no paintings or anything done for tomorrow. Okay, so that, sh that should be, is that about enough? Hmm, I don't know. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to do the same thing just with the edge of the stick. Pull them in towards the center. So, so some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner, some are longer, some are shorter. Just whatever takes your fancy, really. Get little wisps. I guess you have to have enough colour, enough glitter on the edges there to be able to actually pull it through. Because if you haven't... Um, you've got nothing to pull through. All right. Now, I'm dipping that in as if I'm going to get some paint. I don't really want to put any more on. Um, now, I think I'm just going to just maybe get a few that are a little bit longer. Might need a little bit more actually. Just a few that are longer. Um, just be aware that you know they're coming in on an angle, so you don't you don't really want them to touch. So when you're doing the longer ones, um, don't put them too close to each other. Otherwise, they'll kind of join up, and you probably don't want that. Just putting a little bit more on, get right in here. Now, it's up to you how far, you know, you want to come in. You might not want to come in as far as what I've done. I need a little bit more down this end here. Oh, it's looking so pretty. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I'm just, you know, I'm trying not to make it look too matchy matchy, I guess. Oops, that one's got a little bit much on it. Got a bit much on you, haven't you? Probably didn't need to do you there. Get off. <laughs> yeah, this one's probably taken over a little bit, like I wanted it to be more half, but as I was dragging and getting longer, I was filling in the gaps and the whole thing was moving forward. So this one here... Um, um, we'll try and maybe not pull it through as much. I should have enough actually in there to do um, these other three. So, but I'll do those. You've seen me do these, so you don't need to watch me do those ones. Um, I wonder if I can actually pull some of this back. I wonder if that would work. Like if I get a clean, I get a clean stick. Mm. Because I'm a bit concerned how it's gone crept up. What about if I oh try and oh oh that works? Let me get a piece of paper towel. And I'll maybe just like do a little backwards one to pull it back. Take some off. Oh, it's working, you guys. Look at that.
so that it's not quite as thick, I guess, a little bit more kind of wispy looking, which is what these ones sort of are. Oh, that works. Yeah, look, you can, you can make it thinner. <laughs> if you've decided you've got too much on, you can just do that and take some off. And I like that. It's not taking a lot off, but it's just getting kind of more pointy because it was quite, it's hard to explain. I know it's pointy, but the line there was quite straight. So if I'm doing this, I'm just breaking up that little line, actually. Oh, I like that. Have things that you learn as you go along, hey? I wonder if I can do that over here as well. Just trying to be more kind of natural looking break this up a bit so we don't have that big sort of thick straight line there how's that <gasps> that's better now i've got some stuck to the side of my mold there better get that off get you off come out there we go pick it out with a toothpick i'm sorry if i'm taking my time you guys i just i want this to be pretty so you can you, know, you can fast forward you know the drill if you don't want to watch fast forward till the end okay so that's those done and the other three i'll do exactly the same with the leftover i've still got the glitter in there for another job <gasps> okay now let's go with the pink same with the pink i'm going to take half out I didn't make up as much of the pink because I, I knew that I was going to have more gold anyway. Um, actually, I might just take, I won't take all of that. I'll just probably take a third. Just knowing how much I'm going to use, I'll just take a third of what's in there. All right, here we go. Let's do the same thing. It's Minwax Poly, Poly, no, not Polycrylic. Yes, Polycrylic. It's working really well. It's nice and thin. All right, let's just do one spoon. Oh, look at that. And it's blobbing, so we'll do a little bit more. remember why I got this actually no I got it to coat canvases that's right acrylic pouring to like gloss varnish my canvases because it's really easy to do okay that's dripping now see how it's dripping so that should be good all right I'm going to put the lid back on this now I'll hammer it on later. Remind me to hammer it on later, okay? So I don't make a, a mess. Let's clean that stick off. Let me just wipe my spoon as well. Just tidying up here. Wipe my spoon. Wipe my stick. Where's my other spoon? Clean everything as I go. And I don't have a big mess to clean up at the end, hey? Okay. Now, are they about the same consistency? Now this one's thinner. I'll put a little bit more glitter in that one. Maybe this one's just thicker because it's been sitting here longer. Okay, that's dripping. It's dripping now. It's dripping faster. <laughs> I don't want to use up all my glitter, but I do want it to be pretty. Oh, I'm loving these. What do you think of that one? I think they'd make a nice set, even though they're all different. Okay, there we go. I'm getting the saw back, you guys, leaning over. All right, now with these, um, what did she do? She just put a little bit of the pink down the bottom. And... Um, Put some pink down the bottom. So you could, you know, wait until it, it's dry, obviously. 
Now I'm just going to put the pink right into the bottom of the mold here and then I'll just kind of drag it out. I don't, I'm not going to go all the way up though. I guess I'll find out if it's the, a good thing to do or whether we should wait until it's totally dry. And then I'm just going to do that, just blend just like so. A little bit more there. And just blend that pink into the gold. Like so. Oh, look, you guys, I did it. I did it. Oh, maybe that's a bit too much pink. I don't know. It's up to you how much pink you want to do, I guess. Um, now, this one's going to be this one's going to be a bit trickier, isn't it? I'm just going to have to... Oh, gosh. Let's put little bits on like this. I'm not going to pour a whole heap on. I'm just going to put a little bit there. Feels as if it's drying already. No, maybe not. Just feels gritty. Let's put a little bit on my stick and just kind of dab because if you put a lot on, I think it's going to really take over. So just a little bit. Up to you obviously how much you want to use but you still want to be able to see your gold underneath poking through along the top there there we go gun skis now same thing with this one I'm just gonna push the pink into the edges I think I've got a bit too much pink there you know I wonder if I can I if I can get some off. Push it back. I just feel as if it's a bit much. Or it just looks weird because it's got that white hue to it. Um, but it will dry clear. That's better. I just didn't like that. How you can see that straight line of the pink. Just dab like this and kind of get some of it off. Okay. And if you wanted to, if you think you've got too much pink, you could go in with the gold again. You know, totally up to you what you want to do, how much pink you want, how much gold you've got. Let me go in and. Blot that a bit, like so. All right, now this one, like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit of pink into the edges. It's going to take me a long time. I'm going to do all those yet. Oh my gosh! I'm going to work out what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I guess it would be easier to wait until it's dry. But um, I guess it doesn't, I don't know, it probably doesn't really matter that my pink is getting blended with my gold, you know, along the edges. The whole, I guess the whole idea is having it blending. So I don't think it's a bad idea, but if you were concerned, you could just wait until it's dried and then come on and put your pink layer on. Love to try this in different colours too. Okay, so there's my pink. Push it into the edges. All right, now just little, little bits. Pull the little bits through. Oops, I missed a bit there. Just pull the little bits through. So because it's wet, the pink and the gold are blending nicely together and hopefully they'll kind of flow into each other and maybe you won't see that definite line where one joins the other. Ok, 
clean my mold. Alrighty, what do you think? Which one do you like the best? Hey, I'm thinking that it's got too much gold in it. Oh dear, I can get some off. I initially was going to do a paintbrush, but um, and I've got it sitting here and I never used it. I just think that um, the point, either a um, toothpick or the, the point of a pop stick gives you that more of a, a pointed edge than a brush. On such a small thing, if you're doing a big thing, um, you know, it wouldn't matter, but small one, um, a small piece, I think. You need a little piece, a little, little toothpick, a little stick. Fussing. Alrighty. Wow. Do we need the pink any further out, I wonder? Pull it out with the toothpick like this, too. I didn't put very much pink along the edge there. Certainly not as much pink as I've got here. So, but I'll just pull the pink out a little bit more just to make it look as if it's more, the pink's a bit wider there. Because it kind of looks as if it's all, you know, stuck in the edge, which it was, but I do want it more blended. All right, I am going to do the next lot. Oh, my back um, and then I'll come back in a couple of hours and uh, we'll do the the top coat all right see you soon all right guys I'm back um, I couldn't do the top coat last night um, it was still wet and actually this morning when I came down these thinner bits were dry but the thicker bits here where I had the um, you know the double layer of the pink and the gold it was still wet as well and I thought oh my gosh what am I going to do so I got my hair dryer out and I dried it it just took a few minutes and it was just you know just those um, thicker bits Th those ones were okay um, and then around here as well just the outer edge that was still a bit sticky when I put my finger in it I took it out and there was glitter on my finger so yeah Hey dryer, you came to the rescue. So I thought I'd just bring you down here next to me so that you could actually see what it was looking like. Um, can't pick up the, the true colour. It look kind of mm, looks kind of more yellowish. But um, yeah, it's a really pretty, pretty pale pink and everything. So yeah, it looks really pretty. Now where am I gonna stand it? My hands aren't gonna be in the way. How about here? Whoops. pour some of this clear over the top I have had my clear resin just sitting in a, a cup of hot water just so it flows nicely because I want it to flow out towards the edges I don't really want to have to you know, push my pop stick in and level it off so I'm hoping if I make the resin nice and thin it will just do it on its own and I don't have to do it so we'll move on. I've done those two. Not quite out to the edges yet, but hopefully they they will get there. Clean up my drip. There we go. Don't like mess. <laughs> now have those two, do they look as if they've filled in? I hope so. Alright, here we go with this one. So pretty. I'm really glad I've done these and I'm so happy that they've turned out. The only thing I think that I would do differently next time is these ones here. I don't think I've left enough like negative space, the white or cream in the middle. I think I would like to leave a little bit more of the negative space next time. Oh, and you can see I've done my hearts too. I just, um, I actually forgot about them. <laughs> And then I was just finishing up and I thought, oh, I haven't done my hearts. I had a tiny little bit of, um, I hadn't had enough of the pink left, but I didn't have any of the gold left. I had to mix up this tiny little amount of gold glitter just to finish those two off. I haven't got much resin left, have I? hope there's enough. 
to do these last two. Yeah, so that's that's think that's the only thing I would change next time. I'm happy with everything else, but you let me know what you think. Now, while these are setting up, um, I'm going to have a little think about whether I want to paint the edges. Or, not paint, but, you know, do the edges with my gold pen. Now, let me look across the top and just see if anybody needs a little bit more. Oh, you could have a little bit more. This one here has got lots in it. <laughs> So I made up another, same amount that I did the first time, uh, 175 grams of A and 75 grams of B. Um, same resin, the Platinum 360 Plus. I think it's fast becoming my favourite resin, you guys. And uh, if you're not in Australia, um, as far as I know, the company is planning on selling overseas they're organizing a distributorship over in the states um, <clears throat> I don't get anything from them personally <laughs> I spent $475 on resin this resin because I bought 15 liters I didn't even get a discount I asked for a um, like a coupon code um, they didn't give it to me at the time but they have since given me one which I think has expired now but <laughs> I didn't get one for that particular order you know when you're ordering a big amount you'd like a, a bit of a discount but hopefully they'll give me one next time I need to order again but yeah it's um it's really low bubble which is great you can unmold in you know six hours which is great um, it doesn't have the amine blush over the time over the top there which is my favorite because I hate when you're doing coasters and you get this like you know that oil slick type of a look on top Really, really don't like resins that do that. So this one doesn't do that, which is amazing. Um, and it's got a really nice consistency. And plus, I get really good results from it. You'd think I was working for them, <laughs> wouldn't you? But no. Um, just really happy with the um, with the results from this resin. So, yeah. Um, I'll keep you in the loop as to when they will be selling overseas, in case anybody wants some. Right, now, let's do a quick little torch. Not that there's many bubbles, but quick little torch. Right, so, <clears throat> probably shouldn't have used that one, it's a bit powerful. But what do you think? It's looking really pretty, isn't it? Let's see if I can... I'll put you down here so that you can sort of see more of the, the shimmer because it's really hard from when you're looking straight down when you're sitting up on top of the table there where you normally are. See, when you look over this way, it looks more dark, but it's not. It's really quite quite light. Let me go around here. See that? Look how light that is. <clears throat> that's, that's the true, that's more of the true colour there. Maybe I should have popped you on this side and then changes color but that's yeah you can see the pink and the gold so yeah I just need to decide if I want to paint the edges I'm kind of thinking yes <laughs> because I do like that but look at the sparkle it's so pretty but yeah just this one I think these ones on the end probably got a little bit too much glitter and I'm losing the white center there so they're looking a little bit darker than the others but really nice set hey I'm looking forward to doing one in um, turquoises so anyway um, I'll give these probably six hours or so and um, I'll demold them later on today so yay see you soon for that hey guys I'm back uh, I think that's set. Uh, it is 4 p.m. So I think I poured these at about, I poured the top layer about 8 a.m. So, um, yeah, hopefully they're ready. They might be a little bit bendy, but um, I'm keen to get them out while I've still got a little bit of sunshine outside. Okay, now there's nothing to flip over to see the other side. 
got a little bit of overflow there. I'm going to try not to touch the top because it may, st I don't want to leave any fingerprints on it. I should fix those later, shouldn't I? I'll hold it on the bottom. Oh, look, got a little bit of transparency. Look, you can see my hand underneath. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Looks even better now that it's out. Look at the glisten. Look at the shimmer. Wow, look at that. Now, can you see that little bit of pink around the outside? And you know how the resin always pulls from the outside in? So we've got this pattern of the, the creamy colour as well, doing the same thing as the, the outside. All right, look at the top. Look at that. Isn't that just immaculate, that top layer, that shine? It's just so pretty. can't believe it's turned out so well. All right, let's look at the next one. I think that's a better one than this one. But again, we've got that little bit of translucency underneath. So it's very nice and light and, and shiny. And then that one's just got that little bit of pink stripe through the center, a little bit sort of flaring out, but mainly just in the center there. That's what the top looks like. Really, really pretty. Wow. Love it. The camera just doesn't do it justice. You know, these videos it just does not do it justice. You need to be here with me to see how they really look. And again, I've got the bit of pink down the bottom there. And it gradually gets into the gold. I won't touch the top just in case I'm going <laughs> lose to lose a, leave a fingerprint. So the other glitter that I've ordered um, I think will be even prettier than this but I haven't got it yet so once it arrives I'll do another one for you probably do lots <laughs> give them away I can give them away as Christmas presents or something I don't know if you can see my rock edge mm, doesn't know what to focus on No, it's not really going to pick it up. But um, they've got that rocky edge. They're not just straight up and down on the sides. So pretty. Look at it. Look at it. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Oh, love it. This one. This one seems to have a little bit more gold, I think, on it. Maybe. Really pretty. And then the pink again in the center there. Backs are just plain creamy white. Go around the other side so I'm not going to lean over the front of you. Now this one had a little bit of overhang just there. So I'll have to just sand a little bit there. Not too bad. Just there. Oh, what do you think, guys? Aren't they so pretty? Bling, bling. Bling your heart out. <laughs> All right, let's get these little, the little hearts out. These are so cute. I'm glad I remembered to do these. They're so gorgeous. Look at them. Just look at those babies. I could do a whole batch of just the hearts because I've got this um, a mold just of these hearts um, in my eBay store. So if anyone's looking for a nice, well, it, it's a bigger, it's a bigger pendant. It's five centimeters or two inches, um, or a keychain, keyring. Really, really pretty. 
Okay, well, there you go. Now, I do want to edge one with gold. Which one shall I do? I'm going to use, I'll just do it real quick. Make sure I've got nothing to sand here. Mm. Just give it like a really quick little sand, just in case there's little pieces that shouldn't be there. Just real quick across the top. I'm only just going to set, um, put a little bit of colour on the top. Just clean that off. All right. So I'm going to use my usual, my Deco Colour Premium Gold. It's one of those ones with the ball inside. Now I think this gold will match really nicely. So here we go. I'm just going to do the top edge. You know, you could afterwards if you've got time or you want to do the the sides as well but I just want to see what it looks like oh look at that oh, there's a hair on it get off okay um I don't know whether I don't think they make this pen in rose gold but there's a copper one um I think the copper one would look really nice as well because it would pick up that pinky tone but um, yeah I just wanted to do the gold enhance the gold just take your time go around put the nib half on half off that little ridge there on top and it should just sit in there nicely and follow that around and I'm gonna have to lay them nice and flat can't leave them like this because they still might be a little bit soft and bendy so I need to lay them really flat I'll get a piece of baking paper and lay them on that on this board because this here it's slightly textured and um, it would end up with this um, pattern on the back Ta -da! look at it look at it look at it look at it how pretty is that oh it's so pretty Shall we see what this one looks like as well with the gold? I'm just going to take it over here and give it a sand, so away from my other pieces. Okay, back again. Gave it a quick little sand. I'll try and be quick. Now, this one, as you can see, it's got a, a really nice little pink edge there to it with the darker pink. So I'm hoping that by putting the gold on, I'm not going to spoil that too much. Whoops, <laughs> but I just think because it's got the pink on the on the edge there, it would be nice to have some gold as well, just on the very, very tip. I overfilled this one a little bit, so I haven't really got much of a ridge. It's kind of curved where it's sort of um, domed, so it's not that easy to do because I haven't got a lip. I've got more of a dome. So the pen keeps wanting to slide off. But yeah, I didn't need to use all of that resin for my clear, but I just thought, oh, I've got it, I might as well use it. But in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have because I've got a, a couple that overflowed a bit. So just because you've got it doesn't mean you have to use it. Oh, look at this. <gasps> They're so pretty. Wow, 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 look at that. Do you like it with the gold? Oh my gosh, that is just divine. These are the most beautiful things I've ever created. Let's do this one. I sanded this one as well, just when I did the other one. I hope you don't mind me taking your time here just to show you these three. See, this one's a bit overflowed as well. I'm, I'm having trouble finding the edge. Whoa, it slides right off. Plus, I'm holding it in an awkward position because I'm trying to show you. So it's not up, up as close as to me as I normally would have it. It's, you know, down here in front of the camera. Excuses, excuses. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? Mm. So thank you again to Leah Deer Designs. Nadia, go check out her channel and watch how she created her beautiful coasters. 
um, and then yeah let me know what other colors you want to see these in um, I definitely want to do like a teal and should we do a little heart as well while we're at it oh no that one's got the overflow that one's okay is that okay it's a quick little sand quick little sand there we go all right here we go now because it's smaller i don't know whether i'm doing any smaller little line or not probably not <laughs> Much easier to do when you've got that little lip to follow. Round we go. And done skis. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love these. Hope you like these as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate all your support. Makes my day to have you guys here with me every day. Look forward to doing the videos and chatting with you all every single day. So thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. See you for the next one. Bye for now.